Hi everyone and welcome to a Kickstarter preview video from us here at The Offline Gamer. I'm Matt. I'm Ray. And today we are looking at Six Gun Showdown. So before we continue we should say this is a pre-release, pre-production copy of the game that we've been provided by the kind people at Redwell Games. I don't know why I'm showing you that because you probably can't yep. see it. There you go. So yes, this is a game for ages 8 and up, 5 to 10 minutes and 2 to 6 players and it is called Six Gun Showdown. The quick draw card game for those with nerves of steel. And to expertly read us the description from the back of the box. Blurb. He's right. <clears throat> to survive the old west, keep your six gun loaded, shoot fast and shoot true. Six Gun Showdown is a fast playing game of duels in the old west combining strategy, memory, reaction speeds and raw nerve. Comprising six different characters with their own unique set of cards and dice for you to choose from in your next game. You can play one-off duels or a shootout tournament when there are more than two players. Okay. Contents 90 cards and six dice. Right, let's crack it open. Oops. Well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> let's see what we've got. We have already had a quick look at this, but everything's been put back in the box. So, opening the top, the first thing you see are six dice yep. in different colours. Uh, if memory serves, one colour for each of the different characters in the game. Yes, so they don't we... all have the same no, numbers on. No, they don't. We have a rule book, well, or a rule leaflet in this in this case. And lots and lots of cards. And as you can probably tell while I'm taking them out, there are different colours, which correspond with the dice. So we have uh, the yellow cards, which are Desperado Daisy. There she is, right there. We have Ezekiel of the Cowboy, he's blue. Sheriff Jones, he's white. I keep getting it off centre. It's really, those of you watching this, you don't really, it's really distracting trying to watch yourself in reverse, trying to figure out where you're uh, holding things. Mm. Uh, Gene the Kid. Oh, almost spot on that time. Madame Dooley. Madame Dooley, not Madame. There's no E on it. Madame. Is that a uh, sort of like a little so bit of southern drawl there, right? Eh? Maybe. A bit of Westworld. Perhaps. And Lucky Joe, the drifter. So what we're going to do now is we are going to have a reread of the rules to remind ourselves how to play this game. We're going to reposition ourselves to opposite sides of the table and we're going to do a quick run through of the gameplay. Yep. So we'll be back in a minute to do a bit of six gun showdown. Okay, so we've got the starter cards laid out in front of us. Uh, I say the rules say you should choose two specific characters. So I am Ezekiel the Cowboy. And I am Desperado Daisy. So as you can see, these cards have a variety of symbols on them. So I'll just quickly go through what they are. So the red ones are the uh, shoot cards. So when you reveal one of these, or the draw cards rather, when you reveal one of these, it signals that you are going to shoot at your opponent. You've got the flinch card, which only has an effect if you play it immediately before your opponent ends up playing a draw card. You've got the distraction, the improve your reach and improve your accuracy. And as you can see, these cards have all got numbers on them. Uh, the top number is the uh, speed improvement that you get from that card. So this one's plus six to speed, so that one's plus seven. But this one is plus two to accuracy, and that one's only plus one to accuracy. Uh, numbers on this side affect you. Numbers on this side affect your opponent. For like example. That. Yeah, well, don't get the distraction card. So my distraction affects the opponent's speed and accuracy, but yours only affects their speed. Mm. So what we'll be doing is we'll be taking in turns unveiling cards. Uh, when one of us unveils a... Uh, red draw card at that point the person who is the attacker who's the one who drew the card 
or revealed the card rather, will have to try and touch one of the opponent's cards as quickly as they can before the opponent touches them. If you manage to touch your opponent's card first, then you get an instant shot, and we work out what the uh, accuracy is to determine if you shoot them or not. If the defender manages to touch their card before the attacker can, and then they reveal that card and it is a red one, then there are simultaneous shots, in which case we will both compare each other's speed, and the person with the highest speed will take their shot first. But it is still possible when you have a simultaneous shot that both players will hit each other. So I guess we'll figure out what order to put our cards in so we can start the game. So, where am I going to put my cards? Hmm. Hmm. That one can go there. That can go there. And there. So the rules say whoever goes first is the first, just the first person to go. So, you ready? Mm -hmm. Go. Oh. <laughs> I focus. You focus. <laughs> so you shot me but I immediately shot back yeah so we get to do instant shots so we resolve our speed first mm -hmm. so uh, let me just read the book so both players compare their total speed value with the attacker getting an additional plus one. So my total speed is oh, six. Neither of us get to nine. finish cards. So not, oh yeah, you're right, sorry. Um, and I've got a minus two on you. And I've got a minus one for you. So minus six, minus two is four. Minus six. Minus one. No, it's seven. Ah. Minus okay. one. Okay. Six. So you shoot first. So okay. you we result you work out your uh, accuracy. So it has to be higher than was it six to hit me? Nine. Yeah, okay. So you've hit me. My accuracy is five, six, seven. Do we have any minuses on your side now? No. So I'll definitely hit, but I'll roll anyway. Nine, same. So we both hit each other. Yep. It's one all. Let's do that again. Draw. Oops. 
Well, you didn't do anything with it. No. So my accuracy is currently four. So I've got to roll a two or higher to hit. Whew. Players apply minus one accuracy mine to their shot if their total speed is zero. Or apply minus two accuracy if their total speed is negative. We haven't hit that no. point anyway, so. Uh, you're uh, distracting me with your verbal abuse. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. Remains unclear. Okay. So we uh, work out our speed. So mine is nine. Minus two. Oh, hang on. Did uh did I play my? I just I just played my flinch card. Yeah. Didn't I? Yeah. Sorry, that counts. So I've got nine minus two. So that's seven. And you've got seven minus one. So my accuracy is two, four, six. Look at that. So I've hit you. Um, six. So you've hit me. So it's three, two. Yes. Hey, I am the winner. Wiener. I should just point out that uh, before recording this, we did play it, but we were playing it slightly wrong. But Ray did win that one. Yeah. So. Well, well played. So let's uh, rearrange ourselves back into position and we'll let everyone know what we think of Six Gun Showdown. Okay, so that was a quick look at Six Gun Showdown, a nice, simple, quick 1v1 game. Um, first time you played the game, probably a good idea to read the rules through first, try and figure out what's going on because of the yeah. real-time aspect of the game. We found that when we tried to play it by following the rules, it didn't really work very well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you read it and then figure out what you're doing, then play the game, it'll be a lot better. Uh, we'll just show you some of the cards that we didn't play with because we were only playing with the starter decks. So we've got the bluff card, uh, which is at the start of the shoot phase, you choose a player and modify their speed or accuracy plus two or minus two. You've got the double bluff, which counts as two of those cards. And finally, we've got the resolve which is at the start of the shoot phase, after the bluff cards, you choose a bluff or distract, and the card is basically ignored for the rest of the round. So you got, there's a few, what we got here, bit of a dueling etiquette. Yeah. A showdown is not a common street fight, there are expected codes of conduct. Uh, when a player reveals a draw card, they're expected to use the same hand to touch their opponent's cards that they use to reveal the card. Ah, oh, we didn't uh, read that. We didn't read that, no. Doesn't matter, I still lost. Players may agree before the game starts to be able to use an alternative hand. So, you know, we were both yeah. doing that anyway, so that's fine. Yeah. Uh, hands where they can be seen. Players are expected to keep their hands in a resting position, but not in a position that is protecting their cards, i.e. hovering Matthew. above or in front of their cards or in any other manner to impede their opponent from touching their cards. You were hovering on one of I them. I might have been hovering at one point. <laughs> Uh, players need to agree at the beginning whether to apply the following rules. Keep on shooting. A player's turn does not end when they reveal a draw card. Instead, the round will end when a player has been shot 
or when both players cannot reveal the card. Mm -hmm. Or reactionary shots, an option when using the keep on shooting rule. Additional shots taken after the first shot has been resolved are not affected by modifiers that were revealed before the previous shot, so you only count the ones that were done in between. In between. Yeah. Or the kill shot, when players resolve a shot to determine whether they've hit their opponent, a total score of 10 is considered to be a kill shot. The player firing the kill shot wins automatically. Note an automatic hit as a value of 1. So there we go. There you go. So if you want to find out more, then you can go to redwellgames.com. And they're also on Twitter, I believe. Yep. Is that on the back? Yep. Of course it is. Oh, it's, uh, Facebook. Oh, it's Facebook at Red World Games, but I think it's the same for Twitter as well. So there you go. Six Guns Showdown coming yep. to uh, Kickstarter soon. And they've also sent us this lovely little beer mat, which uh, says on the back, it's been launched on the 6 p.m. on the 6th day of the 6th month, 2019. So 6 o'clock on the 6th of June. So just yep. after UKG. Yep. Uh, if you are going to UKG, then Red World Games will have a store there. So... We'll be sure to stop by and say hello, and I hope you do too. Yep. And then that's it for this preview of Six Gun Showdown. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>